I would say if this place is a museum to anything, it's a museum about connection. We, we take our joy making serious. I would say this place is a bit of a joy factory. Is the angle right and all that? Yeah, the angle. Okay. Of course. Yeah, just so it's like Don't video. tell me what will be all right. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, my name is Greg Angelo. I am a native San Franciscan, local artist and entertainer, Lebanese and Mexican descent, really very much part of the culture of the city. I was growing up right kind of after Summer Love when San Francisco was experiencing a lot of trauma, a lot of violence, a lot of gang warfare. Though it was a beautiful city, it was chaotic. And then the AIDS epidemic hit, and that just ripped people apart completely. We didn't even know what it was at the time. So through, through all these this turmoil, I just decided to create beauty out of it. As people are coming back together, people are changed. Well, there's a little PTSD. There's, a, there's some people are actually not really happy being in my wormhole, and other people that, you know, want to start an orgy. But um, you know, so we're working in the middle of, of, of bringing people together again, with very meaningful um, work that allows people to just be in a safe place and be free, which is very much what this house is about as well. All right, so the Greg Angela Museum was not intended to be a museum, and it certainly was not intended to be an art piece under my name. It, the public started calling it that. Um, I started it when I was a kid, I was about 15 or 16 years old. It was an old dilapidated rescue property, and I just was inspired by tragedy, I would say. So the art in the house changes constantly. It started out as a total, utter dump. When I first came in there, there was plaster on the ground, molded out carpets, a basement full of water. It was not nice. It was not a nice place at all. And just little by little, I would start fixing it up. And within my means, it was never, I never had a lot of means as an artist. The house really started with found objects, a can of paint, and a wealth of imagination and work, passion, completely unbridled, completely unleashed. And I still work that way to this day, but now I'm lucky, 42 years into it, have built a business, and now there's up to 16 to 20 other artists and makers and technicians and scientists and brilliant people that work here, and it changes constantly. It is always in flux. I welcome everybody, tap into everyone's potential, elevate everybody so that we can then elevate the world. And really what we're doing in the house is just pointing out to people how common we are without pointing it out. And if you look at humanity, we're one organism biologically. If we can throw away all the philosophies. I think we should have a very uplifting philosophy for good health, good mental health, good physical health, connection to our environment, connection to each other. And that's ultimately what the art is about. I would say if this place is a museum to anything, it's a museum about connection. I think there's about 33 installations. All of them do have a different theme or a different topic, a different feeling, a different emotion. Most of them were defined by children. I just make them kind of running around naked with my hair out like a crazy person without really much thought into it. I tend to try to work by memory of inspiration rather than researching it. So I usually mess it all up and get it historically completely wrong. What I always try to tell the artists in all the installations as we're building them, let's not get too academic about it. Let's make mistakes. Let's just screw it up and so we get it right. And that way your mind and the emotions will get more into focus and trying to, I don't even draw things anymore. Really, I don't even, I just do it. There's been so many moments that happen here constantly that are powerful. Some artists are here on asylum. You can't imagine what they've gone through, you know, to get here. So we've helped sponsor many artists to come here just so they can be themselves because to me, being a San Franciscan, it's just silly that someone's family would oust them because they didn't understand the religion or they were queer or dressed well, whatever it is. And I'm very respectful of other cultures and very hyper aware of it, but I'm also hyper aware of San Francisco culture with this house, ultimately in one word, acceptance to me. And I, I heard over and over how the arts and creativity, whatever, save people's lives. And I think that's true of everybody. I think music and films and writing and literature saved all of our lives through the pandemic, whether we know it or not. The most important lesson I think from working in this house and meeting all the people who've been here is to just allow people to just be in touch with who, who they are, regardless of their religions and their cultures and their economic status and whatever it is. So I think we're always pushing ourselves to excel and tell better stories through the art, just to keep 
sharing stories that everybody can identify with through the art, to um, allow people to engage with the art so that we learn the stories the art's telling that we didn't even know. It's important to always keep evolving and hopefully gaining wisdom. It's almost generous to, um, to the world and to the artists that are here. And it helps so many people make a living who would be misfits in this world. It takes great bravery for the artists to come here and to find their path. It takes me messing up a whole lot to help try to push people onto a path. I get that wrong a lot. So it takes a real honesty um, between everybody to be like, you know, what are we gonna do? And, um, and it takes bravery for someone to come back to me and be like, that's not the direction I wanna go because I'm nobody's employer. I'm just a guy that's an artist that's passionate, that's trying to, you know, just make a little better place in the world. And I think that's what this house is. There, there's a palpable energy in here that I hope you feel. I think it's why you're here. I think the house is almost an entity now with the power that's in it. It becomes, it has its own, it's an entity. It has a force. Does that answer your question? Because it, cause it's tough for us artists, really, because you're like, oh shit, am I going to be a one-hit wonder? <laughs>